just talk for a minute about sticks. Of course, you're going to be playing the drums with sticks. You have to have a really good pair of sticks if you want to develop and progress. You could get any kind of old pair of sticks out of a discount bucket, but you really want to invest in a good pair of sticks that are going to service you well as you try to progress and move forward. There are different parts of the sticks. You have the butt, you have the shaft of the stick, you got the shoulder, and you've got the tip. A very common stick for a drum set would be a 5A, or if you want to play a little bit heavier style of music, you could use the 5B. My signature stick with Vic Firth is based off of an 85A, which is just a little bit narrower than the 5A. It's a little bit longer, so that way I can cock back here and get a little bit more leverage. I don't need to play a heavier stick. I can just pull back and get some more leverage. I've got a full shoulder in here so that all the snare drum stuff that I'm doing still feels good. And I've got a nice pinpointed tip so that I can get a focused cymbal sound. The diameter of the body, the shoulder, the taper, the tip, the weight of the stick are all going to contribute to how the stick feels in your hand and how it's going to sound around the drums. So you want to experiment with different things and find what works for you. Sticks are the most common tool to play the drums with, but it's not the only thing that you can play with. Brushes are very effective and very versatile, and you can play all types of different music with the brushes. The brushes started off being played as fly swatters on the snare drum and around the drums. Around the turn of the 1900s, people would use them to try to get a softer sound on the drums. But now we can play all types of different things with the brushes, and I would suggest that you definitely spend some time with them. Sticks and brushes are the two most common tools to play the drums with, but you can also play with other things such as mallets. I tend to like the cartwheel timpani mallets, and these provide a nice soft sound around the drums. You can also get a nice roll on the cymbals with the timpani mallets as well. Just like drums and cymbals and the other percussion instruments within the kit, there are literally thousands of different things you can use to strike the drums. Here's something I like. Here's a tambourine that I use to play around the drums and it gets an interesting jingle sound. 